hello and welcome to tutorial for your channel in this video i will do my best to help you solve this frustrating error if you find this video helpful please give this video a like now let's jump right in and fix this error together open your task manager by right clicking on the taskbar and selecting task manager go to your task manager and end all the tasks for valorant then close every single instance of this game and restart it again as an administrator. Search for services and open it. Find the VGC services. Right click on it and select properties. Make sure that the starter type is automatic and the services is running. If not then click on start and then click on apply and click on ok. If you get error 1, watch this video, link in the description. To fix this error, you need to open the control panel and click on install a program. Look for Royet when card. Right click on it and select install and click yes. This will install Royet when card from your PC. Once it's done, Open your game again and it will reinstall automatically. You can see it's downloading and once it's finished you can try starting the VGC service again. Basically VGC is designed to prevent cheating and hacking in online multiplayer games by detecting and blocking unauthorized software or modification to the game. That's why it needs to be running for the games to function correctly. Try disabling your antivirus and see if that solves the problem. It slightly indicates a problem between Valorant and Windows Firewall. This can become more complex if you have antivirus software running alongside your device built in security measures. Fortunately, there are few important steps you can follow to resolve to begin, it is crucial to ensure that Windows Firewall recognizes and permit Valorant. Follow this instruction to achieve that. Open the Windows search bar and type Windows Defender Firewall. Open it from the search result. Choose this option, Allow Program through Window Firewall. Click on Change Settings. Remove any existing entries for Valorant, Android Client and Vanguard. The first one is called Bootstrap Packaged Game. Click on the list and click on B on your keyboard to find it. Then select it and click on Remove. The second one is called Royd Client. Select it and click on Remove. And the third one is called Vanguard User Mode Service. Select it and remove it also. Then add a new one using the Allow Another App button. Browse to the location where you have installed Royd Games. Mine is in C Drive. In that you will find Royd Games. In Royd Games folder go to Valorant. Open the Live folder. Now select this file name Valorant. Now click on it and then click on the Add button to add the new firewall exception. Select all the checkboxes for the Bootstrap Package Game in the firewall exception list. Now repeat the same step to add another exception. This time we will add Royd Client. Now we will go to the same location in our C drive in Royd Games. But this time we will select Royd Client folder and in that select this Royd Client Services file. Now once again and the last time we will repeat the same process to add the Vanguard User Mode file. It's located in our C drive in program files. Find Droid Vanguard. Open this folder and in that select VGC file. Make sure it's type its application. Check all the boxes for these three files and then click on OK. Now I will guide you through steps to exclude specific Valorant file from being scanned by Windows Defender. Open Virus and Threat Protection. You can do this by searching for Virus and Threat Protection in the Start menu. Open it. This will take you to the Virus and Threat Protection setting. Scroll down till you find Exclusion section and click on Add 
or remove exclusion link give the permission yes and click on this add an exclusion button and select file now you have to navigate to where your valorant is download my is in c drive so you can see the roid game folder click on the roid game folder and from there select valorant live folder and select this valorant application file add this path first now we will add the second path you can see the shooter game folder click on this go to binaries go to win 64 folder and scroll down until you find valorant win 64 shipping select this and click on open so this is the second path now let's add the third path click on add an execution again select file now you have to go back where the valorant and the shooter game folder was in the live folder go to engine this time now select binaries again and go to win64 again now you have to scroll down till you find this cef sub processes now the fourth path is right client so you have to go out of the valorant folder and go to right client folder in the right client folder select this right client services and click on open now this is our fourth path and now our fifth and the last path is you have to go to your program files in c drive and in that folder you have to find droid vanguard open that folder droid vanguard and here you can see the vgc so there will be two vgc the one vgc which is black and white is the icon and the other vgc is the application you can see the type of that also in front of that you can see one is icon and one is application you have to select the application one and click on open so these are the five paths which we have to add in exclusion you can also remove this path if you want I will write these paths in the description also so you can check that out if you haven't understand it by adding this exclusion you can ensure that windows defender doesn't block valorant from running it's important to note that excluding files from scanning does come with some potential risks has it mean those files will not be checked for malware therefore do this step on your own risks then restart your computer to ensure all the changes take effect after completing this step, open the game again. This time run it as an administrator. You should see that the game will start working again. If none of this solution work for you, don't worry. I have a complete list dedicated to the Valorant errors. You can find the link to the playlist in the description below. If this video has helped you, please give this video a like. And if you want to support this channel, hit the subscribe button. That's it for this video. I will see you in the next video. Till then, take care. Have a nice day.